We'll see where it goes, though. Famous words, huh? If I could do everything over again. Well, we can't. And that's how you learn. What's up now? Are you chilling? How do you know when it's done? You'll feel it. It starts to get really easy. It's like, who is this guy? It was right around the time of the first haying. John's father texted me and said that if I enjoyed pain, I could come by and help. And while there's nothing else I'd rather do, I had to work and prepare for the big change ahead. This is our last night in the apartment. I'm editing my last video in this room, the New Hampshire Manadnock video. And tonight we have to Go get a bunch of boxes and put all of our stuff into it and then move it to the new house. <laughs> and at the house, I discovered some notes behind the old dresser and learned that the people that used to live here made natural products just like Allie. Funny how things happen. Saturday afternoon, second half of June. It's crunch time to get the apartment moved out and both of the storage units. And this place is gonna turn into a total mess. There's no way around it. I don't think I'm gonna get to my office just yet. So I'm probably just gonna put my computer in the reading room. I think Allie and I will both come tomorrow and we'll tackle this and hook up the new water heater. I'm still on the tail end of being sick. I'm almost out. This is wild. It feels really hectic right now. Just keep chipping away. So now the basement's <coughs> flooded. <coughs> it was shaping up to be a humid and wet summer, which the lightning bugs seemed to thrive in. And so there were many nights where we watched them zap and flash in the darkness. So we've got to be at the house later today to take delivery of the washer and dryer. But we've got a few good hours here and it's a beautiful day, so I'm gonna get these cedar shakes done. I've been afraid of these bay windows for a long time, but I feel confident to do them now. Some of these are just like not, can't be used. Like look at this one, the bottom's just gone. Yeah. And then a big huge hole. Right we got there. ripped off. Look, look at this one too. Don't be afraid to make little adjustments to projects as you go along. For example, when I started doing shakes today, I was cutting over behind the steps there, which was hard to get in and step out around the stone wall. And it was also maybe 15 steps each way which doesn't seem like a lot, but when done over a couple hours, it adds up to time and energy spent. So instead I now set up the saw horses right in front of the area that I'm shaking, which I didn't feel like doing because it was kind of a pain to move all of that stuff over, but it so far is making it so much more efficient and easier to do. So little adjustments here or there can make your projects go a lot smoother. When you know deep down that it's gonna make it easier, just do it. And I think that goes for a lot of projects is the hardest part is starting. It's always just getting going, getting into a groove and breaking the ice, breaking that barrier. Once you're in it, you feel so much more confident and you also have momentum and it's much easier to do other challenging things around the house. So we can Yeah, I ring my wish that you could be here. Does it kind of stop itself? The apple 
So the new water heater that we just bought, we just filled it up and Allie noticed it was leaking right from out around the control panel and open it up, have a look, and it looks like it's leaking right out of the upper heating element. Oh man, one thing after another. You think when you spend like 700 bucks, you get a good water heater, you bring it home, hook it right up, but it just doesn't end. I'm afraid that my yeah, there's a little hole. If I step yeah. over here to explain, I the car goes down the and I walk home to fall in all. I hope this doesn't drip through onto you. The whole lot fell in. I thought I was something pretty special. I guess that's how you think when you're so young. And I stacked the bricks so high they fell down on me. Just another guy who's time is coming on. The delivery people never showed up and never notified us, so <sighs> second second time this has happened. So I had to call, sit on the phone with Home Depot for hours. But it's okay, I mean, Allie's making progress on her office and got the closet upstairs so close to being done, I just need a couple more little pieces. So then at least the upstairs bedroom will be pretty much done in really nice shape. So we'll have one good room in the house. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. I gotta get a little gasket for the trooper down in town. Just had some exhaust work done, but I, I think I still have a leak right near the manifold. I'm gonna come back here, put the new heating element into the water heater, see if we can actually get hot water, finish the closet, and then I'm gonna go back to the cabin and try and finish cedar shaking on that wall. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> It'll all be worth it. Sure will. <laughs> The water heater is hooked up, it's full of water, and we're gonna flip the breaker on. It's lighting up! No, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so used to things going wrong. But yes! <laughs> So all of this is Japanese knotweed, which is invasive, horrible stuff, and it's really hard to kill. And it's all over the driveway, all over down by the shed, it's kind of all over the property. So my buddy said that you can cut it down and then smother it with tarps, but it's probably a more than one year process, so even though it's the last thing I feel like doing, we might as well get started with it so that in a couple years, we have it eradicated. Here goes nothing. So Allie's taking Mal to the vet today. He was a little sick and then he seemed like he got better and now he seems a little sick again so she's gonna take him in. I've still got the tail end of my sickness. This has been a week and a half, two weeks. Couldn't have come at a worse time. We're moving out this weekend. Need all the strength I can get. I'm gonna make pizza dough for the first time in a while. So I'm feeding my starter right now. So I'm here pretty much all day working on cedar shakes and then I'm gonna meet John at the end of the day. I have two friends named John. One has dark hair, one has blonde hair. You know the blonde haired one well. He just got a new job at a quarry, so I'm gonna go pick him up today and give him a ride and maybe we'll do some fishing. I just wanna take a minute to thank this video sponsor, which is Seed and their DS01 Daily Symbiotic. What I really like about DS01 is that it is specifically formulated to support your gut health. And when your gut is happy and healthy, 
the rest of your body can function more efficiently. It not only supports your gut health, it supports your skin and your heart health because it's all connected. Seed is entirely backed in science and you can see that right away through the way that they design their capsule. It's a prebiotic and a probiotic in one. The thing that's really cool is their ViaCap technology. So the, basically there's dual layers to the capsule which protects the insides from moisture and heat. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator, you can just leave it out. And it also allows the capsule to travel all the way down into your small intestine where it will be most effective. Seed is committed to sustainability. They deliver their products in glass jars, which you just keep forever. And then they deliver your refills in biomaterial. So you can just recycle and compost. Even if you eat really well, if your gut isn't healthy, you're not gonna be absorbing all the nutrients. DS01 promotes regularity with the number two. It really helps things flow. I've been taking it for two weeks and I gotta say, I can attest to that. So if you're interested in supporting your gut health, you can use code Kyle at checkout for 20% off your first month's supply of Seed's DS01 Daily Symbiotic. Just hit the link in the video description. So thank you to Seed for supporting this channel and for making this video possible. And now back to the story. So Old Blue had been sitting for a while after the bolt that holds the distributor down came loose and the engine fell out of time. I tinkered with her here and there, but never got her to fire. And this was a period of life where I needed a truck more than anything, as we had a lot of moving to do. But I kept moving and Cedar shaked until it was time to pick up John from work and then I hopped in the old Red Baron. Road before just every <laughs> <laughs> you're coming up Windsor Dalton Pittsfield. <laughs> Recognize you today. Why? Not from the fact that I'm training with this guy. 
he'll be the operator, you know, and he'll help and show you how to split the stone. through a wildflower swamp in search of a forest pond as the world turned blue. But alas, the darkness won this time, and we walked home under the fingernail crescent. And then finally, it was time. This thing is huge. I can't believe they let just ordinary people drive something like this. Into the corner. Yeah, just get any paper garbage out of it. And with the help of Allie's mom and dad, we cleared out both my storage units that were filled with stuff from my old office. And I felt grateful to be a part of a family like this who shows up when it counts. Yeah. And after we unloaded those at the house, it was back to the apartment in the insane heat and humidity to bring our entire life down three flights of stairs. Allie's sister Amber showed up to help too. It's actually really cool to find this while moving into the new house. April of 2018, sitting on the floor of my new apartment. The one I just moved out of. This is crazy. We've been moving for two days straight. Yesterday was madness. Up and down those stairs, three flights of stairs. Had to have gone up and down a hundred times. My friend Jared, he showed up and he moved everything and he didn't stop and he didn't complain. And friends like that are rare, so 
Thank you, Jared, honestly. The house is an unbelievable mess, and this was expected, but I haven't been this stressed in a long time. The difference with this place is just that the basement's not in great shape, so we can't really store things the way I would like to. I need to fix the drainage ASAP because there's a lot of wetness in the basement. So basically I set up this little makeshift office upstairs. I think I'm gonna be working with Mason later this summer. So I kind of have this tight deadline and that's really what's stretching, stressing me out. We still have more loads of things at the apartment and then we have to plaster all the walls, paint, everything. We had so much stuff on the walls. We have to fix the floor that we put in and fix the door that I broke years ago. There's just like so much more work just to get out of that place. It's good practice to be in stressful situations and to persevere and stay calm, do what you can, and uh, get through it. One step at a time, we will get there. This is literally the definition of a deer in headlights. <laughs> All just young. <laughs> you guys are looking for raspberries, right? We're looking for raspberries too. The summer of 2021 was extremely rainy. It rained almost every day, it felt like. And there wasn't a lot of sunshine. The garden didn't grow well. After so many days of rain, it starts to affect your mood. You get a little, not necessarily depressed, but you just want sunshine. Then last year, it was a drought. It was extremely dry. There was no rain. The rivers were a trickle. The beavers started damming everything up. And then this year, it is the wettest year I ever remember. Different than just the raininess of 2021, it is so humid. You can just taste water in the air at all times. The entire inside of the cabin, like the sheets when you wake up in the morning are damp. Book pages are damp. Matches won't strike on the box because they're so damp. It is so wet. Look at this mouth. <laughs> Nothing. The thunder woke us up last night, raining so hard on the metal roof. And now the river. This is the highest I've seen this little stream in a long time. Check it out. It's not like crazy but it's usually a trickle and you can usually see the water underneath it usually we stand on this rock and just barely have to dip our water container into the little trickle here it's high it's risen over a foot <laughs> these are from the garden yeah jeez they look the garden so some things are really doing well because of the rain and then the like spinach is completely flattened not gonna <laughs> probably recover no everything's really dirty like i almost want to lightly wash it with my watering can no you wanted some strawberry <laughs> <laughs> every time you leave a space and clear it out you start to look at it and go man this could be really nice if it was set up this way. I'm feeling that right now, because I got a special attachment to this place. I changed my whole life here and to see it empty. It feels like the first time I ever walked in when you just got a blank slate. Except back then I didn't own anything. I didn't own a single piece of furniture. I didn't own anything. And now I own way too much crap. What a special feeling to start from scratch. If I could do everything over again, famous, famous words, huh? If I could do everything over again. Well, you can't, and that's how you learn. Going through the motions, I'm dreaming of the ocean as I swim above the riverbed. And we kept bouncing between the house and the apartment and had a couple good nights with friends in between to unwind. Yeah, right. It's 
not mine to tell I'm not a vessel, I'm a shell Full of dark matter with just a smattering of a warm glow It's the only thing I'll let show Oh, 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 oh. Do I sit by myself? Ask the quiet for help. Do I lie on a couch? Let someone figure me out. We started moving on Sunday. It's Thursday night now, and I think we're finally about done. This is the empty apartment. And I gotta say, now that the floor is fixed and the door is fixed and everything's patched up, it looks so good. <sighs> I'll miss you, Depot Street, but uh, won't forget you. I'm playing with devotion But it just doesn't sit right Belief is just a closed mind We have an ant infestation, it appears. Small ants, winged ants, medium-sized ants, large ants, and extra-large ants that look like wasps, almost. There's all different kinds, but the most prevalent appears to be the small ones. So at my desk, while I'm editing right now, editing this New Hampshire video, and there's just ants crawling all over the place. We have a you know, borax thing. We've got ants in our pants. But look at this trail, and these suckers are all over the place. For a while, I think. Wow, here's an attack with a bigger one. Wait, really? I want to see. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Red, white, and blue cheesecake. Yeah. And we had a couple good spur of the moment nights where we stole away in the wildfire haze and watched the sun fall. It's so hazy. It's so And then came the rains that changed everything. Some trip drive man. Your day will come to. So hang on. 
Usually in July, the river is just a trickle, but this was the most water I ever remember seeing. John called me when I was at the cabin and said I should tie one of my paddle boards to a tree and surf the river. And at first I thought it was crazy because I knew the water was a lot more powerful than it looked. But then I thought, life's too short not to take advantage of ephemeral moments like this. And I took it a step further. Pack it up. Your glory bound. So there I was, going with the flow through the hecticness, doing my best to stay balanced. (laughs) 